I think I could just do this all day. It's stunning. This is so cute. <gasps> oh, that's so awesome. That's sick. Hey everybody and welcome to it. Welcome to my iPad OS 26 customization tips, tricks, new features, everything you really need to know about the new update. If you didn't know, Apple just dropped a ton of new features with their new software update that dropped yesterday. So yesterday I actually covered iOS, which is the iPhone software. If you want to go watch that tutorial video, if you have an iPhone, it'd be very helpful and you're missing out if you haven't watched that one. So make sure to go watch that. I'll link it below, but that's not what we're here for. Obviously today we're here to talk about the iPad. Today I have the iPad Air. This is the M3 iPad Air. Beautiful sky blue color. I'll link the iPad and my case down below. I'm obsessed with it. Before we get started, I did just want to note, if you want to join my community here, I would love to have you here. I create videos that blend tech, productivity, cozy living, all to help you get organized, stay inspired, and enjoy the everyday. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video if it helps you out at all. I make these Apple update videos each year that they come out. So make sure you subscribe to watch again next year. I'm going to flip the camera onto the iPad because we're going to be dealing with a lot of gestures today. So I think it'd be easier if you'll be able to see where my fingers are moving around. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this. All right, here we have our beautiful new little welcome with the liquid glass right here. And as you notice, there's a lot of new liquid glass elements as we open up our iPad for the first time. Here it is on me, I am updated. Don't forget to update. As far as downloading the actual update goes, all you have to do is head to your settings, go to general, then look for software updates and it should be right there for you to download. But keep in mind, it does take a little bit of time and then you also will need some storage probably. So make sure you have that and get downloading and then and come right back to this video to watch a little tutorial. Of course, we get a little tutorial on Apple of what's different and what's new. Welcome! Oh my gosh, we are still stuck in summer, obviously. We're gonna need to change that. Um, here's my old customization. So for this video, we are actually going to start with our customization tips and then we will move into the new features. So starting off with customization, I'm going to head to my Pinterest and download new photos. I need all new photos. I do have a board where I save all of my iPad customization photos, so I will link this down below. I think I would like to go for a more horizontal landscape option. So I have this photo of New York City, which I think could be cool with the new lock screen clock. And then I'm gonna download this gradient here for the home screen. I've been absolutely loving having a gradient. So I'm just gonna open this up in photos and set as my wallpaper. All right, our first new customization tip is now we can change. <gasps> Oh, that's so awesome. That's sick. We can now change the lock screen clock right here as you just watched me drag it. And I love that it like points out this building right here and goes behind some of them deck there. That's awesome. But if we click on the clock, we can actually make the font super thin, make the font super thick. We right now have a glassy look to it, which you can decide if you want it to be more translucent or darker. Then there's also just plain usual solid colors over here as well. Wow, I don't know what one I like best. I think I really like the white and I think I'm even gonna go thin. Wow, that's stunning. I'm going to add a few widgets over here now. I'll add this clock, battery, percentage, and a calendar. Oh, cute, very cute, wow. All right, just kidding, I think I kinda like this pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna click customize the home screen and then I'll click photo and then here's where I will open up that gradient and done. All right, let's take a look. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, obviously my widgets are still stuck in summer in a different theme. So let me just change that real quick. Okay, much better. We're looking all cute and motivating now. Now it's time for the next customization step, which is app tinting. So all we have to do is press and hold down on our home screen, click edit up here then customize. Here we have all these new options. So here's default, dark, clear, which is the liquid glass. I always make sure to hit the sun in the top corner so it stays on like a light mode instead of like super dark and shady. I only like this way. And then if you go to tinted, now we have all these different colors. So I like to, again, make sure you're hitting the sun it makes you constantly do it after every time you change it. And right now, the color that it shows based off my wallpaper is this really pretty pale pink, which I'm actually obsessed with. I'm not sure why it's looking different between the two spots here. I'm going to try the dropper tool. I'm just kind of drag around and see what color that gives me. Cute, cute. As you can see, we can do like literally any color now, so that's exciting. I, of course, I'm gonna have to go for a pink. Cute. 
So pretty. So there's our liquid glass tinted icons. So pretty. I'm obsessed. It will also translate over into your app library as well. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. Here's another look at the liquid glass. Oh my gosh. And our clock. How pretty. I think I could just do this all day. It's stunning. Okay, last little customization tip I wanted to show you all is now we can change our folders to be customized. So right now they're actually the color of all of my icons. This is stunning, beautiful pink. I almost don't want to even change them, but I will for the sake of the tutorial. So I'm just going to press and hold down on one of the folders and then click customize folder and tags. So here we have all of these different options. We can do an emoji. I'm going to do a little AirPods emoji. All right, that's so cute. I'm gonna add all the emojis real quick before I change the colors. Okay, yep, I'm obsessed with those. Those are so cute with the pink. But as I mentioned, we can also change the colors of these by clicking Customize Folder and Tags, then click Tags, and here's where you can kind of choose a color. Purple, makes it purple. So fun, so cute. Also now with iPadOS 26, we can put our most used folders down in our dock for reference. All I would do is press and hold on the folder and just drag it down here onto the dock. There it is, so stinking cute. But if you accidentally do it by accident or just wanna remove one, all you do is just press and hold, click options, and then remove from dock. And there you have it, so cute. Okay, as far as new features and tips and tricks that you truly need to know, there are so many amazing changes. And first up, I'm most excited about is all of the new window tiling features. Basically just windowing as a whole. We can resize, we can move them however, wherever we want. We can tile them to be organized and nicely laid out on our page. So first up, let me go through how to open up windows. So let's say you open up an app and you want to start making some windows. You will see down in the very bottom right corner, there's like this little tiny, thing you know it's that little piece is what you're going to just drag and then that will create your window so here I have a good notes window I'm just gonna leave that be for a moment let's say I'm going to open up YouTube I have this wonderful video up I'm just going to simply drag from the bottom right corner again and place that wherever I would like it to go okay let's say I'm also doing some homework at the same time or taking notes on this YouTube video I'm just once again going to drag up from the bottom right corner to make another window. So there I have some windows, and as you can see, I can like interact with them, I can play this video. So now I have that window going of my YouTube video playing, while I can also take notes. Obviously you can make this smaller. Then I could write on my good notes, take notes as the YouTube video is playing, and even click on over into my book and you know, do that too. So very cool. I'm so excited about this. If I just simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen, my tabs go away, all of my windows. But if I just click on one, it'll bring them all back. Another really nice thing with this I like is we now have these different, you know, it's kind of looks like a stoplight. It's the tabs that you might have on your Mac. So people are very excited that the iPad is feeling a lot like a Mac. But basically if you press and hold on the green one, you will start to see all these different tab options. So if I wanted to do split screen, I could. The three, because I have three tabs, that would probably be the smartest option here. So I'm just going to click that. And it's just gonna lovely, oh so lovely, organize my tabs for me. So now they're very nice and organized. And again, swipe up, they're gone tap back, they're back. And also if you're struggling with the windowing, another tip that you can do is if you're ever confused and just want like to get one tab on one side of the screen, all you have to do is just flick it and it will go to the correct spot. So again, I'm just gonna grab around the top and just flick it to whatever side. And now I have the beautiful split screen here. So very nice, very simple. I'm loving this whole interface. It's so nice to use. So now if I open up my pages app and I'm writing whatever I'm doing here, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you swipe down from the top of your screen, we now have a full-on menu bar here, just like we would on a MacBook, which is insane. You can see all these different things, truly making the experience on iPad like no other. So helpful, this will be so nice for productivity, and overall, just I think being able to multitask with multiple tabs like this is literally going to be a game changer. I'm so excited. Absolutely huge win for the multitasking and productivity girlies here. Very exciting. Okay, but now, if you don't know, we have a new app on the iPad called the Journal app. I'm going to make a new entry. It's, you know, literally just like a journal. On this app, you can add photos, journal, you can write and draw. 
You can allow health access to get your state of mind and mindful minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and allow this. This is a super fun and cool feature where you can talk about how you're feeling right now. Like if you wanted to use this as a genuine journal, like right now I'm feeling very pleasant because I'm so excited. I'm excited, amazing, hopeful, happy. Yes, that is me. Work. Yep. Oh, cute. <gasps> Oh, and then it just adds it to my journal. You can add audio, locations that you've been at. I think this is super fun, and there's definitely a lot more ways to use this. I'm just kind of giving a quick little Spark Notes version, but this is pretty cool. We also have a new preview app, kind of going off of all of this. I think this will be very helpful for students if you click scan, okay? And let's say you have a document some sort of, I don't know, textbook even, if it was an actual textbook, and that just scanned it and added it to my files. So let me get like an actual, I don't know, page that looks like a textbook. Wow. So now I have these beautiful scans all just here on my iPad, and that looks pretty good. So I this would have been so helpful back in college. So I can name this Mac User Guide. Then from here, if I wanted to go crazy, I could take my Apple Pencil and I could mark up what's all important, use different colors, highlight for desktop. I'm just doing this for example, obviously I wouldn't be doing this as actual notes, but pretty cool as you can see, I am marking up all sorts of things. If I wanted to write star something, very important, cite later. I think that's a really cool thing to utilize. So that is the preview app. Also, we have a new Apple Games app. This app is so fun to play around with just because you can go and look at your library of games and you can see all the games you've played for like years back. So I have a games from 10 years ago on here. Like, I don't even know what the heck I was playing, but it's kind of fun. It shows you everything. You can also play with friends, look in Apple arcade games, and just get some fun ideas. So I love this app. And of course, it's not a new iOS update video without talking about Apple intelligence and some of the new features. This is the Image Playground app. I've been loving making my own emojis lately. So I'm gonna go up to the top. You can see, you can look at all these different options. I'm gonna click Genmoji. And then, oh, okay, let's do plant and a bow. Let's see what it comes up with. Wait, that's so cute. It's a little plant with a bow. And then of course, it'll give us a few options to choose from. So cute, I'll just click add emoji. And now I have that, and that's so cute. Okay, here are my suggestions down here. They look like all of my favorite things. I'm gonna add these three and see what it come up with. Oh wait, this is so cute. That's like my dream. That's my dream emoji, I'm adding that right now. And now they're here, and I can just use them. Oh my gosh, I love it. Again, that is in the Playground app here. It's so much fun to play with. <laughs> I hope you've learned a little bit about iPad OS 26. I'm obsessed, so cute. Again, all these widgets and everything I use to customize my iPad are going to be on my Pinterest board that I will link down below. It would truly help me out a lot if you thumbs up this video and subscribe to stick around and join my community here. Again, I have so much more helpful Apple content coming out soon this week, so you don't wanna miss it. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, comment this little plant emoji, because if you know, you know. We just just used that to make an emoji. And that's going to be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.